chains. Belt drives are slightly less efficient, but for casual riding and commuting, the difference is barely noticeable. Another key factor is gearing options. Chains work with derailleurs, giving you a wide range of gears for steep hills or high speeds. Belts require internal gear hubs or an automatic transmission, which offer a cleaner look and lower maintenance, but fewer gears. Weight and cost. Chains are cheaper and found on almost all budget e-bikes. A replacement chain costs as little as $10, while a belt drive can cost $80 or more. Belts are lighter than chains, but because they require special components like an internal gear hub or a split frame, belt drive e-bikes tend to be more expensive overall. You also can't buy these belts everywhere, and you can't readjust the tightness like on a chain, so you have to get the exact length required for your bike. Which one is best for you? So, which should you choose? Go for a chain drive if you want maximum efficiency, more gear options, and a lower initial cost. If you're riding off-road or need a wide gear range, chains are the way to go. Choose a belt drive if you want a quiet, low maintenance, and durable system for city commuting or relaxed riding. If you're tired of cleaning and oiling chains, a belt drive could be a